Hello and welcome, I'm the Gus Sartells. Today, I'm going to do a small article about Obama confirms the obvious. This, what is, this report is from the Cosmic Conspiracy people. Anyway, here it goes. First, in the Obama's recent announcement regarding the, the set back in space exploration does not surprise me in the slightest. In fact, it's a case of, I told you so, over the past few years, and mainly due to the 40th anniversary of the alleged, the alleged Apollo landings on the moon. The, the reporter on this article says he's have been contacted by the NASA supporters regarding the your proposed mission to go back to the moon by 2020 and Mars by the mid 2030s. The, this guy says in the time that it would take, <coughs> it would not be possible within the time frame. And if we take a look at the history books President Kennedy announced in 61 that man would be on the moon by the end of the decade and, six, and about six years later they allegedly did and in four President Bush said he'd be, he'd be back on the moon by the year 2020 but he asks why did it take 16 years to put a man back on the moon after they allegedly achieved the goal six times. In the late mid 20th century, in the late mid 20th century, yeah, he also says, why hasn't the technology moved forward and why would it take twice as long to plan? NASA's greatest achievements since Armstrong and Aldrin on the moon in 69 is the space shuttle, a rather chunky and lethal craft that Lovell described as a white elephant. There has been no end of problems for NASA, such as the Columbia and Challenger shuttles disasters and the probes into the Martian surface. The Martian Surveyor, launched in, in 98, was lost due to the miscalculation which was made by the mismatch of the metric and English units of measurement which caused the American government a, a massive one hundred and ninety three point one million dollars. Since the Apollo project, man has not ventured no further than four hundred miles those above Earth. For a simple reason, is for is of the Allen Van Allen Belt, a radiation radiation and contains other deadly conditions that you encounter once you leave low Earth orbit. A renowned con con what's it cons movement Valentine the bed. I don't know, but I think that's what I'm Anyway, he set, set the record of staying in Earth's orbit for a good 221 days back in 82. Now, uh, ha now has lost his eyesight due to the effects of the Van Allen belt. President Obama's belief that man will be e orbit, will orbit Mars in 20 years is wishful thinking. If NASA cannot return to the moon, which is about 250,000 miles from Earth, then how will they build a spacecraft that can travel the 36.6 million miles it would take to get to Mars? And how big would the craft have to be to carry a payload of fuel and enough oxygen and fuel food there? Not Without, not without present technology, guys. 
with the space shuttle being retired this year and no replacement on the horizon it will take it will be a very long time before NASA will have the capability to do any of their planned achievements. If we consider their current budget of of $18.7 billion for this year, it is a drop in the ocean compared to the amount used during the Apollo projects. Let's be said, there are, there are other issues to worry about like the war in the Middle East and getting getting the US healthcare back on track. NASA and its employees are kicking up a stink about the announcement for the American public. Surely must be must are and surely most are interested interested in matters that are inter threatens them right now. Then spending billions of tax Payers of money on the same on some far flown dream. With the obvious lack of funds and technology available, and, uh, and perhaps it is time for NASA to start working with other countries to better their goals. As the new space race stands, it will be more likely to be a country from the Far East who will benefit and be the first to get back to the moon and beyond. Both China and India have already sent probes to the moon and taken pictures of its surface. In fact, the recent Chandra space probe sent by, the, by India to the moon was the first to find water on the moon, much to NASA's embarrassment. Both China and Japan lead the way of new technology for a very long term, and they w would have the budget to fund the one to mow them back. Which is, mm, I'll leave that on a note. On that note, I'll let you lot ponder on the on that article. Until next time, later.